Hey everyone, welcome to the episode number five of Journey of Marketing Show. I know that I had taken a quite long break, that is one or two weeks of break, and you will be asking about where is the episode number four. The episode number four has already published on YouTube, but the only thing is that I have published us uh, only small small clips. There there is some reason about the break and about our producing small small clips uh, rather than. building a building a whole blog and publishing on youtube so the thing happened that guys on i didn't remember the date where I, it happened but i was i completed my whole editing at the 12 am and when i just shut down the whole blog was rendered but it was in my computer when i shut down and when I, in the morning when i just tried to you know and in the morning when i just uh, tried to start my computer to upload a blog my computer wasn't starting and also there was some quite good uh, questions and answer, answers clip in in my computer which is not included and in that blog so actually i have uploaded uh, around 2 to 3 videos of journey of marketing show fourth episode to i think so it's a four clip but uh, the only thing is that uh, there is no starting and there is no ending but i have answered four questions and i have included that in a specific videos now let's come to the topic i have uh, said to the reason the for the pause but now we'll be continuing from this phone as well uh, actually the only thing where i stopped was uh, this phone too sucks in editing this is a old phone and this phone too sucks i don't want to edit uh, videos like transition and text but the only thing which i wanted to edit is some un- uh, to trim and cut a video part for example there are some tips or what i'm saying for example there are some clips where i don't speak so there is a dead clip so i have to cut that clip for cutting that clip also my phone sucks anyways guys i will be trying my best to produce more content for you and let i'll just find out some questions i know that uh, the things are pretty messed up the noise quality will be not good because i am sitting in front of my balcony in front there is a ba- balcony so the light will be good but there is a good breeze coming in so there might be some defective audio, audio and let's see guys i'll be coming up with new questions I, i'm not sure i'll be recording that in this hall in this hall or else in that room but i'll be surely come up with a new questions and this vlog will be started from now all right so hey vlog as i said that i will be coming up with questions and today's questions it is really good questions i have got a lot of not lot but around 3 to 4 questions which is really helpful I'm thinking to take that 3 to 4 questions in this vlog and also create a specific longer video for youtube because it will really help i'm sure that it will really help most of guys all right so let's get in the first question question is how to determine which social media platform is good for my business it is really easy for me to answer this question you know what what is the answer all look 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 you will now you will be saying that uh, you are a digital marketer and in digital marketing you have to be on all platform i know that i would like to answer in a simple format if most of the people will be thinking that if you are an, if you have an apparel or else uh, any of the beauty businesses or any kind of businesses you can go on instagram fashion businesses if you are a product or service on and you deal with b2b you should go on linkedin or as if you create uh, funny videos and that kind of stuff instagram facebook and tiktok will be great but what if when it comes to business in growing your business online i would like to give you a small tip that is produce content on every platform yes you heard it properly every platform for 90 to 120 days because you know what friends when you produce uh, content for every platform for 90 to 120 days you will get to know about which platform and because you know every platform have the different rules and regulations different rules and regulations i mean that they all have a different type of format different type of uh, resolution for example igtv has a different type of feed and linkedin has a different uh, shape of a video so it completely depends on each platform have the different rules right for example you have a feeling that instagram will be good for your business it's okay just create igtv video and just resize resize and um, edit that resolution and put into linkedin facebook and any other social platform and even youtube so this will only take you some time in republishing that but you know what when you uh, are uh, regular and consistent to 90 to 120 days on every social platform you will start getting some results 
you will start gaining some followers and with them follow or you can just uh, input a hook that is a right hook you might give a, a just uh, take a free ebook and you just have to input your email and your name for example you are you have won 10000 followers all right there will be it will vary from different social platform but for example you have 10000 followers and out of them out of 10 you are really getting uh, 2 to 3000 of content engagement when you are getting 2 to 3000 of content engagement it means that you are really producing a very helpful content that is really helpful for them when you just uh, put a right hook not every time just first you have to give 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 and you have to just at the right time you have to give a right hook by Gary V right so when you put a right hook you will uh, get to see for example you are it's for lead generation you get two to three thousand leads not two to three thousand but fifteen hundred it totally depends on your on the value you provide so fifteen hundred to two thousand for example we are saying out of ten thousand you will get fifteen hundred to two thousand leads and out of that lead when you have a for example you have a consultation call service or else any product you have launched out of that you might get around 500 to a thousand sales as well it might you might get so this means that oh i got sales from linkedin or else i have got sales from instagram i've got more engagement on tiktok but you know what you will get engagement there are a lot of engagement on tiktok but you know what they say nice audio nice video background people are not right now as good as on linkedin so you have to make sure that which platform is potentially grow your business so just think of that and keep it going all right friends i hope you guys got some a tip about which social media platform to use if you guys got some value feel free to share this video with your friends who really need this i do have more three questions or three to four questions to go but bro this question is really helping me and it is i'm obsessed with this question to create a longer video for youtube but you know what the editing process is stuck my computer is not working guys and my phone is you know 2 gb ram it can't even edit a uh, trim a video as i said that in the earlier videos or a friends will it's right it's right now struggle i'm saying you the fan it's right now struggle but after that struggle you'll really get some good thing to happen yeah. friends so let's move to the second question the next question is what will be your single tip who is starting with content marketing there might be a personal brand there is a person who is trying to gain uh, his content marketing strategy and there might be a small business who is trying to get online and they want some help in content marketing i would like to give you some tips in a short form so if you are starting with content marketing you have to define your strategy goals and the one tip i would like to give you when uh, most of the people they try to when they put their goals they uh, set the strategic goals you know what they do is that i have to achieve 1000 subscribers in one month or else a 50000 subscribers in one year so please don't put time limit on any of your goal i know that um, you have to put the time limit for example your conversion rate how many conversion you can track it but please don't uh, put time limit on that when you're starting you know why i would like to give you a reason as well because when you put time limit on your goals what happens if if you aren't able to for example i'm saying if you aren't able to achieve 1000 subscribers in one month what will happen your self esteem will be broke you you will be demotivated that uh, i have to i haven't achieved it so please don't put your time limit when you are done with setting your strategic goals that is you have to gain more customers by brand awareness so first thing you have to do is gain more followers engagement you have to build a community right so set your strategy goal according to your business and a brand second is you have to define who will watch your video who will read your articles who will consume your instagram post or any type of content who will consume it are they kids are they adult are they male are they female what they like what are the interest and the third thing is choosing the right topic so you know who your audience is that is who your customers are then you have to know that what are the, what topics do they like what type of a content should i create that they will be consuming they will be enjoying they will be learning so you have to choose your right topics and after you have done with it, for example you are in fashion so you can use grooming and you know different types of uh, topics in your industry then organize your content you can use a silo structure for organizing your content next thing is creating your content the one who is starting will get a thought whether i should go with video whether i should go with article or i should create instagram post 
you know what my answer is you have to do all you even podcast as well because when you're starting you don't know whether you are good at writing or whether you're good at video you might be liking video but in a reality purpose there might be the case that you like to write you love to write and you're good at it so make sure that you are starting with all there might be the case when after three months four months five months that you like writing or you like creating videos so go with it once you know that uh, in what platform or which format works for you then the only thing is you have to optimize your content all right i would like to sum up is that you have set your goals you have uh, defined your audience you have uh, choose the right topic which can uh, easily resonate with your customers or else your audience and after that we have created that content i'm just summing up that uh, you can't forget it right you should uh, not forget it so you have to just create your content we have determined that which format of content with uh, which you are good at things you have to optimize your content if you are writing articles so make sure that it is uh, seo optimized articles that is on page and all that kind of a stuff because uh, when you optimize your, your content it will get higher chance of uh, getting more readers so uh, we have done with articles right and now the video form i know that video form in nowadays video form people go with video quality but if you don't have any camera just start off with your phone like me i'm just recording with my phone the only thing matter matters is your content is it it is is it helping the some people if it is then it's okay and your voice matters as well so you can use this mic which is around 10 or 12 bucks as well so it, it really gives a good audio and the video doesn't matters right i think so video doesn't matters for me it might different for you but please don't buy you know 1000 dollar cameras and all when you're starting off right so just start with your iphone or whatever type of phone you are having once you are done with optimizing your content now it's time to measure your content you can use any of the platforms such as hootsuite to measure your content if you are um, planning or scheduling content for in a weekly or monthly basis then you you can uh, nowadays your cms software uh, to has uh, the option of measuring your content how is it performing and which type of a content your consumers or your audience is engaging the most and you can if if you don't have any tool you can easily get to know about if you are producing this type of a video you are getting more views more engagement more likes and more uh, comments as well and you are producing this type of video is nobody is seeing them so you will get to know about which uh, type of content they need and which type of a content you should create and when you are starting in please don't rely on you know tracking and measuring that i am not getting so much likes or comments it is uh, everyone starts with zero so you just have to keep in mind that the one who ins- inspires you also has started with zero you can even use ab testing for your content as well for, uh, there are a l- lot of plugins that is for ab testing your headline you can just look what are working for you and what what are working for your customer now i would like to share a small plug- uh, tip that is a plugin which is ab testing i use it as well you can even to use you should have a uh, website which is built on wordpress so you can just go to plugin section and browse ab testing you will get to ab testing for headline you can easily ab test to headline that by using that of a plugins you will easily get to know about what type of headlines people like most and what type of headline attracts more visitors as well so make sure that you are using ab testing and you are looking at content that what type of a content are working with you and working for you and your customers so friends this were the, this were my tips on the beginner or the one who is starting up with content marketing hope this brings value to you thank you for watching